city centre at the minute, everyone's kind of dressed a bit fancier. We said our goodbyes to Scorpion in the last episode with Mitch, where he uh, went out in a blaze of glory, I guess, right? Um, then we, we made our way back into the city, picked up our brand new cyber deck, and now um, I'd like to spend some time in city centre, just because it's a nice contrast to being in the Badlands and everything else. And we've not really spent any time here, so we will be heading out on foot. We won't be driving in this episode. And we'll be making our way over to the Perala's quest. Um, who I think uh, Elizabeth Perala, she, she was dressed like a corpo. She said that there was like... A, a sensitive matter so maybe a family matter maybe I'm not sure so uh, look if a job starts like a classic whodunit some femme fatale calls you up refuse, refuses to give deets and just calls a meet one of three things is going down you're dreaming you're scrolling a shit BD or someone's hazing you good you can scratch the first two man Johnny and I've changed the hood this is the Johnny Silverhand hood mod uh, so this is like the same colours that the hood was when we were playing as Johnny in the in his memories. Uh, it looks pretty sick, right? Um, I kitted out my cyberware, so I only had enough crafting ingredients to make one legendary and of legendary quick hack. And of course, I went for reboot optics. <laughs> Why not? So we've got an epic ping, epic overheat. Uh, I crafted cripple movement, but I didn't have any more ingredients to get it any higher than that and I put whistle in but I feel like that's kind of useless when we've got reboot optics it is useful for moving people around but I feel like we should maybe just put a short circuit or something in there so cripple movement will be useful just because when we've been fighting some of these cyber psychos or some of these more melee centered enemies or enemies that have a shotgun and try and rush you because I'm a kind of squishy character I don't have the best defense because our body's quite low we need to slow them down and reboot optics works okay for that but cripple movement would be vital and we can combat that with our sword or whatever and um, so maybe yeah let's let's get rid of whistle so short circuit non-lethal damage um, Max targets with a weak spot. I don't know how useful that will be. Or we just use Contagion again. Which is... Um, but we've not used Short Circuit yet, so let's just put it in. Let's just put it in. That's um, uncommon, which kind of sucks. I don't think I've got anything that I can upgrade that with. No. I'm short on rare quick hack components. I crafted a little bit of... Uh, I crafted this... Uh, bustier. Which I think is designed to go with this jacket. Because they're like the exact same like colour tones. Could be wrong. But we are proper kitsch right now. I've changed my weapon loadout. And I've made the kind of loose decision to maybe focus... To try and put some points into technical ability actually. I'll, I'll do some in reflexes as well, and I might maybe forget about cool for the time being. Uh, yeah, level up our tech ability. We've been using swords a bit, so reflexes will be good. Um, yeah, I, because I feel like new clothes are popping up in the crafting tab, and I like that. So I'm going to maybe try and get this up to level 12 or 14 if I, if I can. Um, and as a result of that, I've decided to put the tech weapons back in and I'll give this stinger a try because it does a ton of damage this is scorpion's knife so yes that's what we're doing right so we're going to be walking through city center uh, this the colors on this hood are really nice so, so we've got the uh, widow maker we've got this um, satara that we found tech double barrel We've got this <laughs> this knife, which that animation is so cool, right? Right, so we're going to stroll through city centre here. Now, I think that this route did did take us. Hey, nice hair! I think that because the modders replaced it, another haircut. That's why that's showing up. Interesting. 
Yeah, it does kind of take us near to a very high danger cyber psycho. Uh, so we've got to be a little careful. But if, if there is a more vertical route we can take, um, then I'll try it because that will be interesting. Got no home, sick kid, and a cheating wife. Need booze money ASAP. <laughs> yeah, just gonna waste it anyways. Yeah, all right, buddy. Excuse me. We're gonna go on a little stroll. Just take it nice and easy. Although it's difficult because it's so busy. Uh, what 6 p.m. Uh, there weren't any character entries available for Elizabeth Perales or her husband. A few floating NPCs. Good to know. so tiny in the face of this, right? Wow, look at this, man. See, everyone starts to run when the thing changes. That's cool. <laughs> So hopefully this mission results in us making a lot of money. Obviously the mission might take us away from the city centre, but I'll come back and spend more time here after we've done the quest. Whatever it entails. Look at these cars. Rayfield, Caliburn. They sound good, right? Right, now... When I looked on the map, I feel like the cyber psycho was pretty cl yeah, pretty close to here. Hopefully, this doesn't take us directly past it. We might get called by the fixer. Yeah, up there maybe. Wow. I feel like I read that they did actually hire like a full on a city planner, like a, an architecture specialist to design areas of this game because it's, it's unbelievable, right? It's unbelievable. How? You know, because none of it looks particularly re repeated, right? I, I know that there are elements that are repeated, but everywhere looks so distinct, right? The aesthetics that carry from through certain areas, right? From like the NID, Arasaka Waterfront, Little China, Kabuki, City Center, Downtown, Corpo Plaza, everywhere has its own distinct flavor, Japantown and everything else. Haywood. It is busy. Glitter, maybe. This is This is intelligence. All right, watch out for the police. Got the robots. <laughs> what is that you're wearing? There is a mod for that hairstyle, I think. 
because it isn't available in the character creator. Stylish kids everywhere. <laughs> I can't keep up, man. Man, that was uh, great caliburns. Have such a distinct sound. Yeah, so like uh, Johnny said in the journal description, we really have no idea what this is about, but... Just that there, she looked like a corpo, right? So... It could be something underhand, it could be something that they want to keep private, right? Who knows? Let's just enjoy the walk. Look out! The firefight somewhere. Maybe over there by that police car. to view it from the underside. Nice jacket, man. Or oh, nice gilet. The hell is this place? Seventh hell. Huh. Is this a nightclub? Yeah, 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 it is. It's a bit uh, run down for a place in city centre, right? Yeah, everyone's doing drugs outside. <laughs> Should we check this out? Nothing quite like that feeling of you know, walking into a nightclub and you can faintly hear the music, like, vibrating through the walls. I mean, it's only, like, 7pm, so these are, like, the... uncool people. <laughs> I kind of feel like these, like these places should be a little busier, but maybe that's just me. Uh, hey, how's it going? Hey, I like this music. Music in here is god awful. Yeah, I like it. Feet keeps me awake. Fair enough. We'll come back uh, when it's a bit later, perhaps. That's cool though, man. There's so many different, there are quite a lot of different nightclubs, right? We heard about, uh, was it Tottentance? The, uh, it's more of like a live music venue.
It's a mega building over there. Mega, is that where we live? No, 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 that's where Clouds is. Mega building one, right? No, can't be. No, it's not. Clouds is over here. I think that's, I think it's mega building two. The weather might be changing. Or the sun might just be setting. Got to obey the walk signs, right? Hey, chill out, buddy. Okay, we're in the Glen now. On the edge of. Valentino territory, I think. Hey, slow down, man. It's gonna crash into that Mai Mai. Cool hair. Arasaka logos. Okay, we're right next to where we're meeting her. Okay, she's got a bodyguard. Did she say to meet her or Are her? You v? Please, step in the vehicle. I could be anyone, mate. Carter. Rank amateur. Donnie Carter. Okay. Hello, V. I'm Jefferson Perales. Okay. You've Go already on. spoken with Elizabeth, my wife. Yes. Yes, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Mr. Perales. Mrs. Perales? Hmm, right again, Liz. You see, my wife is a great judge of character. Said this would work. Now I see why. You guys will have to tell me if the text is still readable in this light, uh, faded blue, as opposed to it being white. Okay, can we get to the deeps? We shouldn't so, delay too what long. What do you got for me? Carter, let's go. Elizabeth? Well, as you're probably aware, Mayor Lucius Rhine recently passed. We want to know how, why, whatever else is pertinent. I didn't know that. Have I heard that and just not realized? Death was no secret. It was all over the news. Right, okay. I must have missed of it. Of course it was. Media feasted for weeks. Pieces like that are their lifeblood. Right. Think they missed something? We have reason to believe they did, yes. Okay, so we did see the mayor um, when we were doing the heist, right? Far as I know, case is closed already. It is. Of course, the police wrote it off as natural causes. Ryan passed at home due to a cardio implant malfunction. But we're left wondering about the cyber psycho attack at City Hall a few days earlier. The police say it was completely unrelated. Why are you guys interested? These suspicions of yours wouldn't have anything to do with the upcoming election, would they? Of course they would. If Lucius Ryan was murdered, we want to know. Need to know. Why is this guy running for uh, president? <laughs> president. Is he running for mayor? What makes you think the cops got him wrong? Got any evidence? Shortly before Ryan passed, he made cuts in the NCPD budget. Perhaps got on someone's bad side that way. In any case, we have the cyber psycho attack on a BD. Okay. Our chief of security scanned it, but didn't find anything out of the ordinary, so to speak. We need a brain dance editor, a real one. It's raw footage. The brain dance. It has to be back where it belongs today, or a lot of people will be in a lot of trouble. Hmm. If you agree to help, you can see it right now. 
Did you get this off the police? Where'd you get the scroll? Ryan was making a public appearance. BD scrolling standard procedure for events like that. Hmm. Following the attack, the NCPD impounded the footage as evidence. We had to pull many strings to extract it. All right. Let's see. Now, uh, hold on. Sorry to break immersion here. I was uh, flicking through Cyberpunk Red, and I can't remember which one of them, the the one who, the guy who's died, because there were two of them in that room, right? There was the it was the mayor and his like assistant or something were having that meeting with the two Arasaka agents, whatever they were called. And either this guy, Lucius Ryan, or his assistant, whatever his name was, one of them is a used to be a rocker boy back in the day, interestingly. And now that they, they've ended up as a mayor, which is really interesting, right? Um, I hadn't realized. I'll, I'll, maybe, I'll maybe look that up specifically before the next episode. All right, let's see. All right, see what I can do. Excellent. We'd be happy with any find that would clarify things. Alleviate lingering doubts. We're not dressed very corpo at the minute, but... Oh, we've not had one of these for a while, not since the mission with Judy, right? We've not seen a brain dance. Hello there, <laughs> Mr. Well, Chin. Well, what do we got here? Question is, what are you doing here? Yeah. My brain too, isn't it? That's fair enough, man. And this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Johnny? Okay. Okay, so it looks like... I think that they're the two, whatever relationship they are, mayor and assistant mayor. This guy must be security. Why can't we scan? Who's the Hulk guy? Right. No idea. Those ass clowns are all the same. Okay, so Deputy Mayor Weldon Holt. Party affiliation, devolutionist party of Night City, nickname Ryan's Bulldog. Okay, so maybe he's like a no-nonsense, does things a bit dirty. Uh... Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room at the Red Queen's race is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now go. Out of practice. Red Queen's race. Hmm. Cause any intersynapse zaps? Sure, bunch of old Brit farts and powdered wigs shouting off with their heads. You know, you're allowed to say you don't have a clue. <laughs> All right, let's uh, rewind here. Just go back to the start. Uh, I, I just want to check who <laughs> Lush, It's either Ryan or, or his assistant. I just want to check who he is. He was like a, a person of, of interest or something. Here we go. Um, <laughs> Lucius Ryan, Rockerboy. 
a community organiser in the newly forming Watson development. Lucius is a rare idealist working to make the world a better place. He's well known for his inspiring speeches and calls to action. Okay, so he was a rocker boy at first, so that has some parallels to Johnny in terms of like the political element of a lot of rocker boys. Um, interesting. So he's kind of ascended up the ladder now. He's he looks very corporate now, but I suppose if you're mayor, you are going to be. But he's uh, piled on the pounds from his days where he, compared to the days where he was probably wearing, you know, the uh, tight leather uh, jeans and everything. In this time, don't go scrolling every ass you see. Eyes on the mayor. Okay, so we're probably another security guard, maybe one who's a bit green. Stuff belongs to City Hall. Let's make it PG. Oh, right, so, okay, I understand. So he's telling us that because we know that we're recording the brain dance. So he's telling us not to stare at any attractive posteriors, right? Second conference in three days. No idea what this blitz is for. That's why I'm mayor and you're not. Now's when we need the visibility. You're spreading yourself too thin. I'll rest tonight. My room. Red Queen's race. Is ready. Yes, of course. Good. Now. Okay. What do we need to scan? Ah. They left literally seconds before the attack. Looks planned. Like it was done on purpose. That or the psycho saw his chance and took it. Don't get paranoid on me. Go. Out of practice. Yeah, there's someone coming in. Hold it! Stop right there! Right, hang on. Is he is he flashing oh by the look of him I thought that he was maybe uh, not a corpo but like an, a rich guy because he's got fur on his jacket right as soon as I see fur in my head I'm like because that style is like for the upper classes but I think that that's a police badge that he's flashing right must be yeah. Slop. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely... The fur... Okay, so maybe he's... That's like a fake badge, because he definitely looks... The fur always is like a trait of... A fashion trait of the upper class, right? So... Now can we scan him? No. Oh, your role. Re reward NCPD. Oh, okay. Police. Maybe it's, maybe it's fake. Let him in. Let him wait. It's important. Got to speak to the mayor's chief of security. Prem, do it after the conference. Oh, oh, oh. CCTV screen. Terminal crashed right as he went through the gate. Glitch was no accident. Now, nah, seen stranger coincidences. Like? Like when you bang some chick and then her sister later, same night. And it turns out they're both sisters of God. What? Did that really happened to you? Nah, but it could have. Thanks for your input, Johnny. Alright, so either River. Uh, no, it. Could have chromed half the city with what he was packing. Probably what happened. Body disappeared from the morgue, sight unseen. And then some pig got himself a new set of wheels in an ugly ass suit. Know that? Or just talking out your ass again? Once you've seen all I've seen, don't need to know things to know them. People are the same everywhere. Okay, it's coming out your ass. Oh, well, well. 
Peter Horvath. Balding male, mid 40s. Sub. Sub conjunctival hemorrhage. Top of the line combat cyberware must have been expensive. Right, hold on. Slow your roll. River Ward, NCPD. Police. Let him in? Let him wait. It's important. Gotta speak to the mayor's chief of security. Interesting eye that he's got. Prem, do it after the conference. Right, what? Well, we've got a sound source. Cop one in Prem, the do it after the conference. Probably that he was standing by to lick Ryan's butt. Oh! The tune. Don't recognize it. Tune. What he's humming. Wouldn't call that a tune. He's really into it. Right. And, uh... River Ward took him down. Surprisingly few shots to take down someone packing that much chrome, though. Oh my god! He's walking over to us like he's going to finish us off, kind of. God, he's completely lost it. So R River Ward, the police officer, was walking in the room. River walks around this corner. The mate, that's, that's Lucius Ryan. He's still in the room, but is the assistant mayor has done one behind this sealed door, right? Interesting. Obviously, things get a bit muddy in terms of the brain dance there. We can't have an official scan on the police officer. But this is the Cyber Psycho, so... Interesting. Interesting. Oh. What was the police officer doing there? Well, oh, they've already got out. They lead busy lives, apparently. So, any thoughts? Did you uh, see anything suspicious? Anything at all? Or are we paranoid? V, seriously, there we go. Too early to tell. I think you might be onto something. Pure coincidence. Is everything all right? Let me think. So I guess the suspicious thing is the deputy mayor leaving the room just v? before 
That guy showed up. I think it's too early to draw any conclusions, though. Rather not jump to any conclusions. That's not much to go on. Still too early to say. Sure, sure. Any questions at this point? What was the conference about? The conference? Why was it held? For no particular reason. Ryan liked the sound of his voice and seeing himself on TV. <laughs> yeah, that sort of thing. As far as I recall, the drop at Night City's violent crime rate was the excuse for this one. Ryan came out to tout it. Sorry, drop? <laughs> Ryan reclassified Pacifica an independent district. <laughs> Stats for that part of town stopped counting. Ha, huh, clever. Yeah. So what, uh, what info have you got on the deputy mayor? Who's Holt? Ryan's deputy and his bulldog, so to speak. Running in Ryan's place now. And the Red Queen's race. Red Queen's race. What is it? Got me. Never heard of it. Oh. Sorry. All right, and the copper. Cop who saved Ryan. Know anything about him? Detective River Ward. Good guy. Okay. We worked a few cases together. You want to talk to him? I'll put you in touch. Um, who's got access to the security terminal? Anyone else besides Ryan's detail have access to the terminal? Hmm. NCPD. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, the NCPD can't exactly be trusted either. Mayor's Hustle. The NCPD. No. All handpicked by Holt. Mm. And on a corpse payroll. But there are ex-cops among them. Alright, I guess we'll have to ask the... Ask uh, River Ward. Sheesh. Ward had great timing. Either has crazy good luck or had a source. Got good mm. info. I'm gonna need some of each. Well said. I'm sending you his deeds. If you need anything else, let us know. We'll help. All right. You're just leaving me here. Ah, oh, shit! You are currently at the exact location where I lost contact with the car. All right, Delamay. Fine, fine. Have a look around. And what is the relic malfunction? All right. Is there a car we can take? I mean, I can summon a car, but maybe okay, we need to call River Ward. There's a Delamain in the area. Or we could go and have a nice party. Right. <laughs> oh, wait a sec. Oh, they're Tinos. Let's not, uh... Let's not get involved. I have no idea where we are, though. What the hell? Is there a fender bender? Or was it Delamain? Alright. Alright, let's um let's give this police officer a call. This is Ward. Who am I talking to? Name's V. Looking into the death of one Lucius Rhine. Wonder why? You're not a cop. Um. Okay, we shouldn't really. We should be careful around the police officer, right? Because they might be like gonna say something under the pay of certain corpos and stuff. So we have to be careful. So let's not mention the paralysis. Paral yeah, let's just let him know that we've got information on him, so... Listen, 
I know you tried to warn Ryan about the cyber psycho. What else do you know? That you'd best meet with me. All right. I'm headed to Chubby Buffaloes. Be there, staff. What? Night City Hall reminds you that the District of Pacific right. continues to remain outside of right, Let's check the map. Nature. It's 9 a.m. all of a sudden. Oh, we're near a Ripper Dark. Several cyber psychos. Right, where is this place? It's uh, near to. Uh, El Coyote, whatever it was called, where Jackie's a friend of was. It's not that far away, I guess we could walk. Could walk over to the Epistrophe gig, but you tend to need vehicles for this. We've got like 30 grand, so let's just make a quick pit stop at this Ripper dog. Do not enter Pacifica under any circumstances. Someone crashed their car. Oh my god, they're dead! She'll, she'll live, she's just unconscious. Pizza Padre. Need money? Sell a kidney! Need a new kidney? Hey! Install yours now at Milt Nauman's River Doctor. Beep, beep, motherfucker! Oh, hey! You. <laughs> Lost him. Hold on. Hey, can't you see me? Okay, this place looks dodgy. Doc Rider. What the hell is this? Hey! What? Hey, you, you're the surgeon. Shit's weather, eh? No, oh, it's just the same character model. All right. So, as I was saying. Oh, we've got another Ripper Doc who doesn't believe in having any himself. You never got yourself chipped? Kind of like having a dentist with no teeth, isn't it? <laughs> I have good rep. You won't hear any complaint about me. I mean, yeah. Why? <laughs> but why? Job would be a lot easier with some zoom-capable Kuroshi optic. Hey! <sighs> I'm Lost sure him. it would. Until the day this planet gets hit by a massive solar flare. I'm talking about a geomagnetic storm that wipes out all live circuit systems, uh, implants included. So why would I get Kuroshi if sooner or later I just go blind? Alright, so why do it to other people? You're so paranoid. Why are you chipping other people with chrome? I like the job. Besides, nobody wants to hear the truth anyway. All right, let's see what Mine's you've got. taking a look at my chrome. Sure. Make yourself comfortable. Now, if he's got some, like, next level... A Raven Micro Cyber Mark III. Allows you to perform quick hacks on target. Yeah. Increases the time it takes for an enemy Netrunner to hack you. That's all right. We've not really run into many Netrunners. Hey! <sighs> Lost him. That's the devil main. Increases quick hack spread distance by four. Oh, no! Increases cyberdate RAM recovery rate. Okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> God's sake. Netwatch net driver. Right. That is what we want when we get to level 40. The spread distance. Recovery rate. Damage dealt. Offensive quick hacks can be uploaded to three targets within a six meter radius. Yeah. We'll keep that in mind. Now, oh. I was thinking that getting the Mantis Blades would mean we could actually just carry three guns again. Hey! <sighs> Lost him. Because <laughs> uh, I, I don't think this takes up a weapon slot. I'm sure we could buy some that were epic and not legendary. That were cheaper than this. I just can't remember where it was. More subdermal armor. We do need a bit of help with our armor, so that's kind of that's probably a good idea. Can't get any of them. 
Nothing there. Some more eyes. Some better eyes. Probably worth it. It's not. They're pretty cheap. So. Uh, skeleton reduces the recoil. That's pretty good. Jesus Christ, Delamay. Hey! <sighs> Lost him. Uh, attack speed, we need more reflexes. Carrying capacity, we need more body. I own this. Oh, but I don't have the body requirement. Okay. 12%, is that really going to make a difference? Oh, why not? Every little helps, right? Particularly, I think with the tech weapons, this might actually help. Uh, am I being too frugal? Literally can't get any of these. Hey! <sighs> Lost him. Most of these are a body requirement. Sucks. Some of them are tech, though. Alright, I'll get it. I'll get it. I've got nothing in these slots, so... Cheers, buddy. That's the first. Right, let's just quickly do our cyberware here. We had enemies who had detected us, and let's just get the grenade radius thing. Right, where the hell is Delamain? Right, this is the guy who crashes into us, so let's get our big brutish car. Hey, 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 hey! Lost him. Get back here. Beep, beep. Hey, let's talk. I'm not going back. Hear me? Never. Try to take me and I'll crush you. <laughs> let's see who crushes who. Hey. Whoa. You. Okay, things have not gone to plan. Slow down. Sorry, mate, it's Delamain ran you over, not me. Come on, crash into him. He destroyed our car once. Oh, this is pathetic, Matt. Do I just shoot the thing? Welcome to N54 News. I'm Gillian Jordan. We begin now with your latest local news. I need a run up. The 54th anniversary of the AHQ Oh, he's actually trying to attack me. It's core by the detonation of a tactical nuclear bomb in Arasaka's NC headquarters. 12,000 were killed instantly by the blast. Get him! Thousands more later succumbed to acute radiation sickness. This tragic incident, which some ultimately attribute to Arasaka's wanton imperialist tendencies, has forever left a mark on our city's history. And now, an important message for Watson residents. 
the homelessness problem plaguing the district sewers to find the this isn't working at all. Due to the use of potent neurotoxins, <laughs> yeah, my car's nearly toast. Clear of storm drains and sewer entrances to minimize risk of injury and death. Next, is it the end of the traffic jams on the highway? <laughs> Long-awaited repairs to Ring Road East. Hey. Help me out, Del. I've relinked to the vehicle. Hello. Thank you. Where are you? A share of your fee uh. is oh. in your account. I didn't do anything <coughs> wrong. What's up with this? Oh. Ah. Ah. oh, thank God for that. Honestly. All right, all right. <sighs> Gig on a tight leash. Okay. All right, we've not got enough time to go really and talk to River Ward. I'd like to walk through here, to be honest. So. We can maybe go and tackle a cyber cycle. Because we've got 10 minutes left. Yeah, let's do that. Delamain destroyed our car again. <laughs> Literally. Just drove straight through it. I think this is where we walk walked through earlier. I could be wrong. It's in different light and everything, so it's difficult to tell. Here we got a drugstore. Have we ever actually been in a, a drugstore? Hello there. Um, got a <laughs> medical license, right? Well, I finished veterinary school. We're all animals. Mm, so you're a vet. That's reassuring. In order to understand people, you have to look at animals too. True. Thought the whole point of a vet was treating animals, not humans. Look around. Do you see any animals? Vets are a dying breed too. Yeah, that's a good point. You'd think that the few one percenters with pets would need a vet. But no, they're implanted. They need ripper docs. And farms. Well, you know, all the meat's that grown. Right. Wanna stock up on some meds? Choose whatever you like, as long as you can afford it. Something the matter? No. What? Oh, there are upgraded versions of the medical stuff. For crafting spec. For Mark II, for Mark III. I did not know this. Oh, they sell item components as well. Nice. So bounce back one, bounce back two, max dot one. Bounce back mark three, craft in spec. Yep. Max dot mark two, craft in spec. Mark three. Craft inspect. I'll take that. Uh, I don't think we can actually craft them yet, though. Yeah, we need the grease monkey perks, so it's going to be a while until we get them. Oh, no, no, no. It's only the Max Dock Mark 3. We can get Bounce Back from Max Dock 2. But we need a lot more rare item components. Has he got any? 
Right, they cost 12 each. That's not that expensive, man. You just made this much money from Delamain, so... I'm doing it. I always forget the input for the crafting window. There we go. Instantly restore 25% health and then 6% health per second for 30 seconds, as opposed to 3% and 15% health. Okay, that's much better. So we can craft a few of them when we need to. Hanam again. Do you have a moment? Need to talk? I mean, no longer moment. Can you come by the camp? I have a problem. Yeah, why me? You're back with the Elder Caldos, right? You got a problem and you're calling me? Thought you rejoined the family. Well, I... Yes, I did. But I thought... I suppose that means you're not willing to come. Am I right? No. On my way. Phew. Thanks. That's good to hear. Give me a little more intel. What's your grief? Well, it uh, would be better to... Let me guess. Saul, right? You know me well. <laughs> mm-hmm. See you soon. Oh, she's just asking for favors left and right, man. We're not going there right now. I'm just going to presume that we don't need to be too time conscious with quests. Everyone says, hurry up, I need you now. Right, but... I want to walk around the city, Pan Am. You're dragging me out to the desert. <laughs> All right, can we cut through here? Hey, a gunfight broke out in a cafe on the waterfront. See what's going on over there, okay? If it's a cyber psycho problem, I want that problem to stay alive. All right. A popular cafe with a beautiful view of the ocean, usually crowded at this hour. It acquired cult notoriety after the Saigon Sisters was filmed. After Saigon Sisters was filmed there, and it's Hune's favorite eatery. Poor thing, lying in a coma after an allergic reaction to tannins. Anyway, cafe's booked now for some bougie reception. A few of the guests already arrived, and the newlyweds were getting their stills taken. That's when it all started. Guess someone seriously objected to this holy matrimony. Okay, are we on the waterfront? We've got to be Moses to cross here, man. Okay, so some people were getting married. Hey! Some serious fog rolling in. Last time this happened, it got very sunny very quick, right? Okay, this looks like a f uh... yeah film crew. Okay, something's not right here. I know. It's awesome, right? Let's watch the first step together. Yeah. Yeah, there's, there's somewhere around here, apparently. This is weird. Oh my god, bodies! A buff man in a cheap suit equipped with cheap basic cyberware. This, there was likely security on the set. Clothing and makeup suggest Corpo possibly ran the show. What the hell are you guys doing up here? So... Casual clothes, no makeup, not camera ready. Likely a cameraman or another crew member. 
Alright, let's head over. She's lost her mind! Who? Johnny? Finger on the trick, Reed. Isn't that the person that was just mentioned? Why is Breach blocked? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Whoa! Slow your roll! Cripple movement right now. Oh my god, she's gonna one shot me. Why can't I breach? <coughs> oh! <sighs> Great. Good job. I think we're drastically underleveled for this. I wish I could hit a breach somewhere. She's lost her mind. Finger on the ah. Look how expensive all this is. There's no way we can take her down, man. We can't breach protocol. We do like no damage. Like like five slices with that knife did did one percent of her health. I think we're gonna have to come back, unfortunately. Right, guys, I'll end the episode here. We'll go and talk to River Ward. Yeah, River Ward, right? The hell? We'll read these character entries and everything at the start of the next episode. Uh, I will drive over there. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this episode. We met with the Paraleses. Um, hopefully we've got a character entry on them as well. Nice car. So yeah, we'll pick it up from here next time. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave me a like if you did. And just remember everyone, never trust an on-crate.